Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day this video. All right, I wanted to show you guys a new app here that I just been recently using over the past week for a lot of my solo Bitcoin miners, like my Nano 3S's and Nano 3's, BitX's, and Avalon Q's. And this app is where I can control the fan speed in order to lower the chip temperatures, which I think long-term is gonna bode well for these devices. Normally, like for the Avalon you know, devices, the Avalon family app, you're unable to control the fan speed. So with HashWatcher, you can actually do that. And I wanna demonstrate the difference in doing that today through the HashWatcher app and doing that on an Avalon Q and a Nano 3 as a demonstration, as well as a Bitax. I have a lot of Bitaxes and this app here is actually really cool to find out all the different information, chip temperatures, hash rate. You can even control, again, the fan speed and that is what I wanted to showcase here for you guys because my devices, they've been running hot and a lot of the fan speeds on them are just set on auto like you know the Canon and Avalon devices but they're running sometimes over 90 degrees Celsius which in my opinion is just way too hot and I have an example here of one a Nano 3 that's at 90 degrees Celsius which I think is the target temperature that Avalon you know has put which is I think normal but in my opinion I think that's too high and so I want to show you guys the difference in terms of the temperature drop that we are going to achieve on this thing. So for anyone that wants to try it, it's Hash Watcher on the App Store. Unfortunately, they don't have an Android device. This is not sponsored by them. I found them on Reddit, on the Bidax subreddit. So here they say, you can see all your viewer miners on one screen, uh, adjust controls and set points, the Bidaxes, Canon devices, uh, even Bitmain, you know, big boy, Bitmain at miners as well. You can put bigger miners on this app as well, not just small miners. But yeah, it supports Canon, Bitaxes, Brains, OS devices as well. You can change work modes, fan speed, or just monitor exhaust and temperatures, which I think is very important. And it says get detailed hardware information, solo mine to one or two separate pools, uh, get alerts when things go wrong, so when things get hot, which is really cool, get detailed hardware information, keep up on all the maintenance, and yeah, really cool stuff here from Hash Watcher, an app that it says it's ages four years, but I saw this post about two weeks ago on Reddit. Anyways, okay, look at that. It's got like Bitcoin blocks falling in the app. That's actually really funny. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's just start off right away. I want to show you a Nano 3. All right, we are going to drop the temperature right now. It's at 90 degrees Celsius. I have it right there. Okay, this Nano 3 device here, and it is at 90. So... It says exhaust there is at 49 degrees Celsius, but we're going to up the fan speed now. Okay, we're just going to go flow full blown 100. Okay, oh, there we go. All right, fan speed's at 100. And I just felt a wave of, of air speed coming through this way now. And in doing this, we're actually going to be hearing a little bit higher in decibel rating uh, for the fan speed because obviously when you're upping the fan speed on these devices, they're going to make a little bit more noise. But in my opinion, I'd rather have it lower temperature than, you know, care about noise. I don't know about you guys. You guys can let me know. But look at that. We're already dropping. We were at 90 degrees Celsius before. Now we're going down 77. All right. 42, 41C exhaust. Look at that. This is already, already feeling better. And I think it was like, I'd have to say this thing was throttling because it was at 90 degrees Celsius. But now, look at that, temperature's dropping. I think these numbers, it looks like it's a bug. This is, doesn't say it's using 332 watts, that's wrong. Uh, this is in beta, okay? So actually, if you wanna add a device, all right? So you just go with a plus sign. When, once you install Hash Watcher, you hit the plus sign here, add miner. Okay, so you add the miner, uh, you choose either brains, uh, Bitax or Canon Beta and oh looks like they have a, a premium feature unlock premium features just came up here Multiple miners manage all your rigs in one dashboard. Okay, so it looks like they have a monthly four dollar a month subscription or you can pay one year twenty five dollars for the whole year Okay, well, I may do this actually because I have a lot of different devices But for now, I'm just gonna continue with the free version. Okay, so yeah, you guys can see here Canon Bitax, Brains, you can choose which one that you want to add. Then you have to add the name of it, just any name of the device, and then the IP address. This is where uh, you get the IP address either from the screen 
on the Nano 3 or you know Bitaxes, Avalon Qs, Nano 3 Ss, you get the IP address that you see on the screen there. Enter it in and you're gonna add the device and hit connect and it'll show up on your screen here. But let's go back to the Nano 3 demonstration here. Okay, so we're at 69 degrees Celsius now. All right, and look at that. This thing is feeling much better. I definitely feel a lot more airflow, which is fine. But ultimately the best thing that I like is that we're actually lower in temperature, chip temperature. So as well, you can actually control the work modes. Okay, it's actually on high already. I think this is a bug um, through the app. I think they're, they're still optimizing it. So it's actually on high mode. This is, yeah, this is actually not on low mode, which I can show you guys here. See, 124 watts, level high. Yeah, this thing's a little bit louder. I can't use my decibel reader right now. I do have other servers behind me running that are pretty loud. All right, so let's try another example here, okay? Let's try my Bitaxe, okay? I have a Bitaxe here, Gamma, all right? So I can actually control this guy through the app as well. And here is really cool. Actually, one thing that's really cool regarding this app with these Bitaxes. So I like that you could just use your phone and app and such, but Look, you can see, if you click on chip temperature, you can see a chip temperature, the voltage regulator temperature, uh, what the frequency is at, uh, core voltage, and a power draw, rough power draw, fan speed, okay? So this is where you, you can see these types of information, which is really cool. I mean, you can see that through the web GUI, like you can type in the IP address normally, but it's nice to have it in the app and you can control all yours, all your other devices in one app, right? That's why I see the power in this. But look, the fan speed, this is where we can control the fan speed. So I already have mine at 100, but here, this is where I actually was playing around with the overclock tune. You can change on the fly the overclocking Okay, I just changed it to stock and we're gonna see probably the temperature start dropping. Also, my hash rate has dropped as well. We were at 1.2 terahash and we're at, you know, 55 degrees uh, Celsius here. Okay, so we were, we were at mild overclock, all right? And yeah, look at that, look at that. You can see right here, chip temperature, power, hash rate, 1.15. So let's up it, let's go to medium overclock. All right, we upped it to 620 mega hash. Okay, now it's ramping up. You can see chip, chip temperature went up 57. I actually just changed the thermal paste on this thing to uh, Arctic MX6 and yeah, it's much cooler. But look at that, we're going up now, 58 degrees Celsius, hash rate 1.25 terahash. Okay, so look at that. I love, oh, 1.3 now. Okay, 1.3 terahash. So look at this, in real time, I'm showing you guys here, you can change the overclocks on the fly here, which is really cool. Now, if you wanna go even more insane, just like the web GUI, you can actually hit the danger zone to manually overclock even more the frequency and voltage. So here, look at this, performance presets. You can change it here if you want. You can even go even more. An incremental of five megahertz, you can change the modes here. Okay, you can change it even more if you want to really fine tune voltage as well. Okay, you just click in it and you can change the voltage here right on the fly. You don't need to go through the web GUI, you can just go through the app here, which I think, oh man, it's, this is really intuitive, it's really easy, but I truly like how I can manage it, uh, my bit axe, my bit axes through here. And of course we can reboot the machine here and you can see all the information, the stats on this thing as well. I don't think we can do any firmware updating or anything like that through here, so you'll still have to log into the web GUI or use the Bidax web flasher to update the firmware uh, on this thing. Okay, so guys, yeah, that's the Bidax example. Let's go upstairs now. I wanna show you guys an example for my Avalon Q. All right, it's hovering around 80 degrees Celsius right now. And the fan speed there, looks like it's running at 76. So I wanna put this at 100. I just want to see how loud this Avalon Q is going to get at 100 fan speed on standard mode, mind you. I have it on standard mode, um, so I want to see how loud this thing gets, okay? So let's go, let's go upstairs. Okay, so you guys saw the current decibel rating for this Avalon Q, which is on standard mode right now, okay? And you can see here, chip temperature is 80 degrees Celsius, exhaust is 76. All right, so let's go into it and let's change 
the fan speed. Okay, so it's at 77% right now. Again, the Avalon family app doesn't let you, you know, change the fan speed. And so let's just go to 100. Oh, oops, I don't think I hit 100, I hit 90. 100. All right. Okay, you guys probably heard it go up there in terms of fan speed. All right, so it went up maybe another, what, 10 decibels roughly. It's still not that loud, but you can definitely hear it. Even if I was like 10 feet back, I can definitely hear it, but that's not the point. If noise is a concern for you, then maybe you're not gonna change the fan speed, but I wanna keep this thing a little bit cooler. So let's see what the temperature is now. Temperature is at, okay, all right. So we were at 80 degrees Celsius before. So I think 80 C was the target temperature for this. I guess the stock for Canon, and uh, look at that, 74 degrees Celsius now. Exhaust temp is falling as well, but I just love that you can see other stats here, power consumption, efficiency. Power, I think, is maybe another 50 watts less in the app. I think more so I was getting like 1450 at the wall at standard mode, but anyways, still really cool. Temperature still dropping. So just going into my Canon family app, just to show you guys the difference here, right? There's really there's really no other settings like you can't change the fan set, fan settings uh, in the family app at all there's really no like information about temperature or anything here like as you guys can see nothing absolutely nothing in the family app but once you go into the hash watcher app right you click into it you can see looks like we've averaged out at 73 degrees celsius all right, 69 exhaust temp. I've had this thing on for 10 plus days already now. And oh look, there's the work mode as well. So I could change the work mode to super if I wanted to or eco. Yeah, that's really cool, but I'm keeping it on standard because if I go any higher, my living room might get a little bit more hotter, but uh, no, it's perfect. This is great. All right, my friends, that's it. That's all I want to do in this video. Let me know if you guys are going to try this app just to raise the fan speed at all, just to help lower the temperatures. I know there's a lot of value here in terms of longevity, but of course you compromise uh, losing the, I guess, lower noise, the lower fan noise uh, regarding it. But I'd rather have it you know, a little bit cooler than care about sound. But that's gonna be your own prerogative if you're gonna try it or not. Again, it's only on Apple currently. Maybe he's working on the Android version, I hope. But uh, anyways, let me know down below if you guys have had this installed and if it's working for you to control your Bitcoin miners, like an Avalon Q, Bitax, or even maybe a bigger boy, Ant Miner. Let me know down below. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out.